hello youtube it's me kg and welcome to another video look at me look at me and my precious little smile little did you know i was trying and failing to hide behind that smile that although my birthday was right around the corner i was not exactly happy today we are going on a trip i have a lot to talk about in this video we're gonna get through it as we get through the days of the trip but i just wanted to give you guys an intro while the sun was out my flight is tonight or tomorrow at midnight so we're not gonna get as good of lighting later so i just wanted to come on say hello i am all packed up over here last night i actually set some intentions on little sacred pieces of paper and threw them up on my new inspiration bulletin board that is new to the room i'm turning 25 this is my yearly birthday celebration we went on trips for the past couple of years we're going on another one this one we are going to cartagena colombia i'm going alone once again there's so much i want to talk about but not right now this is just the intro to say hello and get us into the video in the next clip i will be on my way to the airport again the flight is at midnight so don't expect the lighting don't expect much and i'm pretty much just gonna sleep on the flight so We'll talk later. YouTube, you heard correctly. It's soon to be my birthday. And not just any birthday, but a milestone year, the big 25. At 25, you're supposed to have a nice house, a beautiful family, and, well, I don't know, a job. To those of you who are new here, I have none of those things. I planned this trip to cheer myself up, but I have to venture into an unknown country alone. While I want to have a good start to my trip, the universe was not making it easy. Good afternoon. I'm here in my hotel in Colombia, Ready to give you a little recap of what's happened because I obviously didn't film a single thing in the airport. Um, to make a long story short, my flight out of LA was at midnight. Um, I had a five hour flight to Miami. Tried to sleep, didn't work very well, got maybe two hours of sleep. So, in the Miami airport, I bought some Z-Quil. And that, that junk worked like a charm. Slept the entire flight from Miami to Columbia couldn't tell you I couldn't tell you anything that happened on that flight because I was asleep it is 3 30 Colombian time I have somewhere to be at five so I had some plans because I was supposed to my flight landed at 12 30 so I was like okay maybe by one I'll be at my hotel and then I can miss that and that no that immigration line was two hours long so my little plans I wanted to go visit these tunnels that is not happening right now. I have to see where else I can fit it in in the trip. Right now, all I need to do is get some water, get some money, because I forgot to transfer my pesos before I left. Foolery, foolery, it's my fault. I will consider getting a SIM card. So your girl is on the 19th floor. We come in, cute clock, AC, it me. And the room is a lot smaller than it looked in the pictures. A lot smaller, like a lot smaller, but it's still cute. So I'm really not mad at it. Little side table, cute bed, TV with a desk. I didn't bring my laptop though, because I do not want to be doing no work for these next four days. I'm not applying to a single job. Um, closet situation with a safe and my fave, a mini fridge. How rare is a fridge? We also have a blow dryer, which I'm going to need from some of these excursions. Look at this cute light fixture. Adorable. The view from the 19th floor, baby. In Cartagena, Colombia. Also, I, I get kind of, um, it kind of annoyed when people pronounce things with the accent of how it's said. Like if I say Cartagena, Colombia, it's annoying. But just, it's kind of hard not to. Because Cartagena, like I could say that, but it just doesn't sound right. I know it's not right. So I end up pronouncing it as best of a Spanish accent as I can. Also, my name in a Spanish accent, crazy. Crazy, because the bellboy was calling me. I had absolutely no idea that he was referring to me. So <laughs> my, my cartena might not be accurate, but just knowing that that's how they would pronounce it for something like that makes me want to say it that way. The bed, super cute. Super cute, little hanging rack, and a bathroom that I haven't even looked at yet. Ooh, this sink is fun. Just for the record, the sink would not remain fun for the remainder of my trip. It's little rocks, little shells, little 
I think, like it's like beach, beach debris made into a sink. And this is, look at their cute little soap station. Oh, they're, they're adorable. They're adorable. Got nothing back there, okay. Standard toilet, stand up shower, which I hate. I don't have a bathtub in my house, so I really kind of wanted one, but at least this shower, wonderful, has enough space for me to stay in. Because when I'm talking about shower at home, it's teeny tiny, and I can barely fit in there. I mean, that. at least here, I have a little bit of arm room. I got some leg space. You, I, 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 I'll, I can live with this. I can do with this. And this, I think, is just like a. I think this is just. Hello. To get the breeze. Oh no! It opens. It opens. Fully. But I don't want it open. Go ahead. Lock that up. But yeah. That is. I got are there lights in here. It's dark still. That's the hotel. This is where I'm gonna be staying. And I will connect with you guys around five. Actually, you know what? It's been a long day. And I need to unpack a little bit. I need to change clothes so that I can go out and get this water without dying in my sweatpants. So why don't we talk a bit while I do that? So I'm here alone. As you can tell, this is a solo trip. But what's getting me about it is that it was not supposed to be a solo trip. It was never supposed to be a solo trip. My friends were going to come with me, but then, and if you've ever gone on a trip with friends, you, you know how this goes. Then when it came time to put money down for the first little trip, the first little excursion, no one had ever heard of money before. Nobody had any, and nobody was interested in giving me or the hotel or anybody that which they owed. I've decided I don't want to unpack. I'm just going to get dressed because my clothes are actually in my boot bag. But yeah, no one had any income to fund the trip that they knew about from us. So, a little salty with my friends and my boyfriend for that situation. Because I had originally planned this to be a solo trip. Then they all insisted, no, you can't keep traveling by yourself. It's not safe. We're going to go with you. And then they didn't come with me. So like the, the shift in mental expectation was annoying. Because if I had planned for this to be solo the whole time, I would not be disappointed. There wouldn't be times where I'm like, oh, my friend would love this. Oh, my boyfriend would like that. Oh, this other friend would like That wouldn't happen because I would know that I was going to be here alone and I would know that the whole time. So it just wouldn't be a thought that I have. But my friends didn't set me up for that. We talked about it. I was salty. We've moved on in a, in a you know, I'm not mad at them. Like, but I, I do wish that they were here. They are people I care about. So I'm just gonna get through this trip and try not to feel down about being alone because again I planned this to be solo in the first place so it being solo should be fun I should be okay with that and I just have to get my 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 head to quiet so that I am okay with it because this is my birthday trip today is November 1st I think today is November 3rd my birthday is in three days and you better believe I'm going to enjoy my birthday trip, alone or not. So my friends and my boyfriend kind of letting me down on this one. Not a big deal. We're going to move past it. That's what I'm telling myself. So if y'all y'all watch me now, y'all got to watch out for me. If you see me looking a little grim, a little dour, a little lonely, a little gloomy, it's, it's not me back into it. Because we are here to have a ball, okay? Not get upset. Let me, let me change my shirt. So yeah, as you may have been able to deduce from how that speech went, this is my birthday trip. I am turning 25, and I have some feelings about turning 25, which we will get into at a later time. At a later time. But I have a lot, a lot planned, a lot that's going to be going on, a lot that I'm excited for. Tonight is just the kickoff. If you've never seen my um, Mexico vlogs when I went to Tulum, Check that out. Also, I'm in Cartagena, right? Apparently the place to go in Colombia, anytime you look up Colombia, it's gonna give you Bogota. 
I'm not in Bogota. I'm in Cartagena. And in Mexico, one of the places to go is Cancun. I didn't go to Cancun. I went to Tulum. So I don't know why I keep ending up in the B spot. But I feel like the B spot is really the A spot. Like the B spot is low key where it is. Because in that Tulum vlog, I went to Cancun putting on my pants. I went to Cancun for a day. And it was not giving. It was giving expensive. It was giving costly. It wasn't giving anything else. So I could have gone to Bogota, but Bogota's inland. I wanted to be on the beach. I wanted to be a beach girly. So I came to Cartagena and maybe it's not like the spot for Colombia, but number one, it gives me a reason to come to Colombia again. Cause one city for four days doesn't mean I know this town. So it gives me a reason to come to Colombia again. And number two, it's probably secretly the A spot. Y'all probably just don't know. Y'all probably just sleep on my girl Cartagena. Is this what I want to wear? Do I want to come back and change? You know what? This is fine. I don't want to trip. I brought a dress that I wanted to wear for the event tonight, but I also just don't want to trip because the thing about this being a solo trip makes it even more about me about what I want to see, about the experience that I have, about how I'm feeling, about my growth, my entering into this new year of life and this new era for me of brain fully developed, mid twenties, none of that early stuff, full grown adult, bills paid, appointments scheduled, new era. So, I could put on a dress to make some random group of tourists who don't know me take my Instagram pictures. But honestly, this is not a trip for Instagram. This is a trip for me. I'm comfortable in these clothes. So this is what I'm gonna wear. Super simple. If you've been around long enough, you've seen this outfit before. It's my lemon shirt that is pulled up too high. My lemon shirt and my matching lemon pants. My mom made me take off these pants one day I put them on and she said they were too short and she yelled at me when well, I'm grown and I do what I want so where are my where are my shoes my sandals also I painted my toes white which I typically don't do but I think it's looking cute okay so yeah I'm gonna go grab a couple of essentials get myself settled and ready to go and then we are gonna head on out to our first excursion of this of the trip then, as if it wasn't bad enough that I entered the country with no sleep, no money, no friends, and no man, the roads flooded, creating traffic that was so bad that there was literally no way whether I walked, ran, drove, flew. There was no way for me to make it to my first and only remaining event for the day. So, awesome happy birthday so far. there the roads are flooded it's creating traffic as it would so I'm not gonna make it to the first thing I have planned this little boat uh, sunset boat ride not gonna make it at all so there goes like $30 well $22 but I have water, so I guess it was worth it. I couldn't have foreseen the traffic being like that. So, off to figure out my next move. It's a good thing I wore slippers instead of my tennis shoes, but because I keep having to walk through puddles, but once I walk through them, my shoes are so slippery they don't stay on. Also, everybody is addicted to honking out here, so it's hard to record. But I'm just thinking, just remembering the reason I booked the tour. Where, why? Like, they're honking in standstill traffic. What do you think is gonna happen? Are the cars gonna disappear? Anyway, the reason why I booked the tour was to reflect. <laughs> Every day of the trip has a theme. Yesterday was intent, where I set my intentions. I did a burning ceremony for the things I want to let go of in this 25th year, or from the 24th year 
And then I did some journaling on the things that I want to bring into my 25th year. Today, we are reflecting. Reflecting on year 24. What went wrong, what went right. And going from there. Yeah, so I just wanted to sit on the boat, watch the sunset, and think about where I've come. So what I'm doing instead is as I walk, listen to all these honks, and get my shoes wet, I am thinking about where I've come and where I'm going. And for the record, we are walking to the Cathedral of Cartagena. It's one of the things that I wanted to do, but because today, today I was supposed to tour the tunnels, because I didn't get to do that thanks to the um, immigration line, I'm gonna view the cathedral today because I can't go on my boat tour. And then on the day I was supposed to view the cathedral, I will go view the tunnels. Are we following? So that's my plan. And after that, I am going to need some dinner because your girl's stomach is growling. Also, when I went to do my currency exchange, the place only took cash and all I had was $70. So I'm hoping that I can stretch that as far as I need it to. But I just think about the money I've spent today and I'm like, girl, I don't know. I do not know if $70 is enough for, for five days on vacation. I don't know, but we'll see. Anyways, it's really loud and I can't think and I'm sure you're over it. So we'll, we'll, we'll reconvene when I get to the cathedral. But for now, I'm reflecting on year 24. I stopped my walk because I saw this place. It's a little pathway. Come watch more of the sunset. More of the water on the rocks. And more of the city. This would have been interesting from a boat. But I'm happy I found this little path. And I still get to see the sea. Hi. I know that maybe to some people it seems boring, but watching water is very calming for me. Very mesmerizing as well. The one thing about it is that it is just very loud in Colombia. So this is me making it to the cathedral. It was just too loud outside. You could not hear what I was saying. It's a very beautiful building. And it was in this beautiful plaza area. They had like horse-drawn carriages, lots of shopping if you want to shop around, lots of restaurants, just a very cute area. So if you're coming, definitely check out the cathedral and the surrounding like plaza, I guess. Um, everyone was wearing all white. Everyone who was there actually for service. I didn't know that that was a thing. So it was a little, a little awkward, but look how beautiful. Look how beautiful this entrance is. It's Gorgiana and all around is art. It's kind of like a mini art gallery. So I just went around looking at the art, admiring the pieces. I did have a couple of things to say about some of them. It's not as loud in the cathedral. So I think you'll be able to hear me. So here is me just chatting to you about these pieces on the wall. So I remember from art history that this kind of circle around somebody's head was the old timey equivalent of a halo. So that is some sort of religious spiritual figure. They often gave halos to Mother Mary and this is a woman with a baby so that might be her. And look how pretty these flowers are. My camera doesn't want to focus on them, but you, you use your imagination. Oh. There's a title, but it's in Spanish. The Prediction of San Francisco Javier. I, th I believe that's what it says. I enjoyed viewing this painting as well as a statue of Jesus that I found later in the cathedral. The art in there was so beautiful and looking at it was the first time that I felt calm and happy on this first day of my trip that had gone very, very wrong. Although, like we said, I only had $70 to convert to Colombian pesos. I was very hungry, so I went out of the cathedral to try and find somewhere to eat with the little money I had. 
there are all kinds of vendors in the street, including people's menus. So man handed me a menu, and now I'm at this cute little restaurant. I got a pizza and a beer, but it doesn't taste like beer. And now a window view of this unmoving truck. The cathedral was really pretty, but they started to have like an actual church service. And number one, everybody was wearing white, all white. They seemed to know, nobody told me. Number two, it was in Spanish. And number three, I don't even know like what, like half, like, I don't even know. So I, I left and I'm hungry. So we're gonna eat. I checked my itinerary and I have to be ready to go by seven tomorrow morning. So I pretty much need to wake up at six. So, I'm going to bed early tonight because one thing about me, I need my eight hours. But I feel like I should talk a little bit about what I've been reflecting on. So I've just been thinking about my 24th year and I was unemployed for the vast majority of it. I only had a full-time job for about like next eight days. The rest of it was a struggle. We're still in a struggle. But I decided I don't care. Because in this time of unemployment, I've been able to have the time and freedom to come and do things like this. I've been able to just relax. Life has not been like, I didn't go on a world tour. I didn't get a master's degree. These are all things I could have done in this time and that I probably would have done if someone had told me it would be this long. But I did do a lot of relaxing. I did do a lot of resetting. I, you know, eased my symptoms of burnout. I brought myself back down to the ground and I am now actually seeking out a job and wanting one rather than seeking it out and like, I, I don't feel like doing this, but the government is making me. You know, I met my boyfriend this year. I got a lot closer to my friends here. I was able to go see my family for a nice long extended trip. I've been able to relax, I've been able to enjoy, and I've been able to show myself that I can live off less. Even less money than I had before, which was already giving very much nothing for Los Angeles, California. But now that I know I can live off less, that means when I do get a job very soon, then I'll be able to save more and do more things like this. So yeah, that's my short little stint of what I've been thinking about. What is this? Zucchini shrimp pizza. That cheese is special. honest at this point in this trip I still haven't made peace I haven't made peace with being alone with feeling like no one cared to celebrate this big milestone with me with the way my life was unfolding or with the pain in my feet from that two hour long immigration line but whenever I travel and get to see a beautiful cathedral or take a bite into a slice of unique pizza life feels unreal I remember that I'm across the sea from where I once was and that anything is possible. So while it wasn't all in place, I went to bed with optimism, and I hope you'll join me in finding out what the rest of my trip has in store. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to see if I'm able to turn this birthday trip around, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, toodaloo.